Hey soul family, what's going on? This is the Phoenix Cloud Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Isa. I'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader. And I'm doing the love reading this week for Leo, my babies. How you doing? We going from Monday to Monday like we do with the fire signs every week, guys. Thank you so much for being here. And if you've been here before, you know the drill. I'm putting your energy here, their energy there, um, looking at the mutual energy between the two of you. <coughs> Excuse me, anything you don't see coming or any obstacles and any other messages from spirit, okay? So I want to just jump right in. Please feel free to swap the energy. You might feel you're on one side and not the other, okay? Or you may vacillate between the two. Um, please always use your intuition for your own highest good, okay? I just simply read the cards. Um, and last but not least, guys, if any of this resonates, please smash the like button, the love button. Show your girl some love, Leos, because you know your girl's Leo, okay? Welcome back to the kingdom. Welcome back to the tarot dome. Welcome back to the dungeon of the lions and the lionesses where we roam free. And no one can stop us. Yes. All right. Let's get into it. Leo, how does Leo feel right now about their person? What is Leo thinking and feeling about their person, please? What is Leo thinking and feeling about their person? Eww. Wheel of Fortune. King of Wands. Ace of Cups. Damn. Okay, Leo. So you're feeling pretty good about this person. You are in love. You are very passionate about this person. And you're just kind of like ready for what's new with them. Okay. And I feel like um, you're very much leaving it up to fate, up to destiny. You feel that this is uh, a definitely a fated connection. Um, it feels really good to you. It's a special love. It's a spiritual love as much as it is uh, passionate and yummy with the connection. Okay. So, um, you're feeling really, really good about this. All right. You're going for it. King of wands. All righty. Hey, I like it. You could be dealing with a uh, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, um, or Aquarius. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Judgment. Your person's got judgment. Okay, how does Leo's person feel? What are they thinking and feeling about Leo? Ten of Swords, the Chariot. Ooh, Leo, what happened here? This person's feeling the Ten of Swords and Judgment. Are they having a, do they want a second chance? What, hold on, hold on. They want to move forward with you, but there's something that's bothering this person or that's hurting this person and they want a second chance. Either you're doing all right by yourself or you really do love this person and something happened here. Let's clarify this, okay, Leo? Well, let's see. How are you both mutually feeling? How's Leo and their person feeling about each other? How do they feel about each other? Mutual energy. Oh, yeah. Queen of Cups. Unconditional love going on here. What's up? Yeah. Four of Cups. Page of Cups. Okay. So I'm getting some immature energy here. The Emperor Aries at the bottom of the deck. Let's talk about what you don't see coming, Leo. What don't you see coming? Two of Cups. The Hierophant. Oh, shit. Either there's another connection coming through for you, Leo, where it's a, a soulmate and it's literally like everything you've ever wanted. The Hierophant, the Two of Cups here. It's a deeply spiritual, beautiful connection, a higher level of commitment with somebody, okay? This might be something that's coming from your person or it could be another person here, okay? Mutual energy, Four of Cups, Queen of Cups, Page of Cups. 
I feel like this is apologies. This is somebody not understanding the other person or a misunderstanding of some sort. You guys may be having a hard time over something and I want to see what that is because oh, okay we got deception and lies at the bottom here and we also have the three of cups somebody could have lied about um, being in a connection with somebody else in the six of swords somebody could have lived at a distance or maybe somebody decided to move on okay so let's see I want to clarify why does Leo have the Wheel of Fortune, please, for this connection? Why does Leo feel and see them as the Wheel of Fortune? Why is Leo feeling like Wheel of Fortune? Yeah, because regardless, um, you're winning, okay? I think you just feel good about your life in general. You have the Six of Wands here with the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So at this point, Leo, I think you're feeling like this This was, uh, is or was a great... Uh, relationship and opportunity however i feel like if something happened here and i'm gonna see if it did you guys are really just moving forward with a lot of confidence and success okay so you're feeling like no matter what you are destined for success whether it's the connection you're currently in or the one that might be on its way for some of you okay why do they have the king of wands please that's you sitting pretty. You are in boss mode. Regardless of any shit that's happening, you're like, I'm not going to let that bring me down. I'm just going to keep being Leo. Okay. Yeah. Somebody could have been breadcrumbing you. Okay. This person could have been breadcrumbing you with the six of pentacles. Uh, but I really feel too, Leo, that you're all about having balance in your life. And, um, and it, you're in pursuit and you're ambitious right now. And you don't really want anything standing in the way of that so if things are going to be out of balance i feel this like kind of take charge energy from you guys okay i do think you feel really uh passionate about this person or you did okay i don't take back my chat about your feelings definitely in love with this person and feel a lot of sexual energy but i think some of you wondering if they're giving it up to somebody else too okie dokes all right why is the ace of cups here please Queen of Pentacles in reverse, big time trust issues. You love somebody, but you, you don't think they want to commit or you don't want to commit to this person, okay? Because it's out of balance, right? Um, Queen of Pentacles can be, um, you know, not good with money, um, not trustworthy, uh, gossipy. You know, there's something that maybe you're seeing here, Leo, that's turned you off, non-committal, right? This is a person who doesn't want to be in a committed relationship, okay? So maybe some of you are moving on with the Wheel of Fortune uh, because there was an imbalance here. I do think that you were like really mad, crazy, excited about this person and there is some sort of love. But Leo, I think you're starting to see now that this person um, is striking you as somebody who's not really committed to uh, the relationship or wanting to be in a long-term commitment, okay? Why does this person have judgment? Why does this person have judgment? Why do they have judgment? Why does Leo's person have judgment, please? Why does Leo's person have judgment? Thank you. Yeah, death. It's over, right? They want to change. This person, I think they want to change. They either want to change with you or they want an internal rebirth, right? They could want um, a second chance in the connection um, because the connection is over for many of you. Uh, but I also am feeling like this person has like some internal changing that they need to do. Okay. Scorpio energy there too, as well. All right. Um, so it's about transformation. Anytime something is over, something begins again, but I feel like this person wants a second chance, but they know that they're going to have to change something. Why do we have the 10 of swords? Yeah, <laughs> Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This person wasn't serious, right? It hurt you. Maybe they acted like they were serious, like they really wanted it, right? But at the end of the day, this person, right, is not committed to long term, okay? They ended it before they could fuck it up, right? Why else is this Ten of Swords here? 
Yeah, it's almost like they made an offer, right? They were trying to like give a pentacle and be like, hey, you know, guess what? Like, I'm really into you. I really, really want to be with you. But I feel like you guys are finding out this person is non-committal, right? They, they don't have uh, the kind of stability you thought they did, okay? They hurt you. Um, they betrayed you. They stabbed you in the back somehow, okay, by making promises that they were never going to be able to fulfill. And they probably knew that, right? And that's why we have death and the uh, judgment card. They feel, they might feel very judged by you as well, okay? Or they may have made a judgment call about you and then sabotaged the connection somehow here. Why do we have the chariot? We have cancer out as well now. Why do we have the chariot? This person has a lot of options, right? Uh, with the seven of, of cups, okay? They do have a lot of options. They have a lot of things to think about before they move forward with you, okay? A lot. And they know they have a lot of options. So that's what's going on with this person. This person, it's like they, they do want to like offer something solid, but when it comes down to it, I think this person, Part of what has like blocked them is that they're non-committal and they're non-committal because they have a lot of options all the time probably like this person's like you know got a, a, a rolodex of people okay that they can talk to maybe they're an attention whore type right like they constantly have to have the attention of a man or a woman to make them feel validated okay there are people like that that doesn't make them bad people it just means like they need to be babysat right and a leo is not babysitting you so let's talk about the mutual energy there's a lot of love with the queen of cups and it's unconditional why do we have the four of cups please why do we have the four of cups queen of swords Somebody drew the line in the sand and said, no, I'm over this, right? I'm over this. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. You're missing it. Like you're, you're not getting it about us. Like I, I would rather just move on here. Okay. Somebody is having an honest conversation. Um, I think and ending this, uh, this connection. Okay. Because this connection is not, it's not going anywhere. Somebody's more focused on these three cups, which I feel like has to do with these seven. It's like, uh, you know, like Leo, let's say um, you're the one focused on the, the other stuff, maybe emotions or relationships from the past or other people or whatever it is. Your attention is being taken away from the cup that's being offered to you, right, with four of cups. So a person can tell that, right? They can tell that you're it doesn't mean they don't you don't love them right it just means that you're stuck someplace else emotionally so you could be dealing with that but yeah who really wants to deal with that if a person's just distant if they're like they're emotionally one minute and then they're distant the next minute which could be this person or you okay but we have the queen of cups here please king of pentacles there is a lot of love there is this uh, underlying committed energy. I think that both of you do want to be committed to each other because you do unconditionally love each other, but somebody in this connection, and I can't, I won't say whether it's you or the person, you know who that is. Somebody is just, they may bore easily, right? They may get bored easily, you know? And that's what makes them have a roving eye, a wandering eye. They get bored easy, right? They're kind of always looking around at other options. And that partially comes from fear too. Like, cause if you settle with something, even if it's the most wonderful thing, you know, they have a bit of FOMO. It's like, I'm gonna get that and that's wonderful. And then what if I meet somebody while I'm at the supermarket and they're fucking incredible? Like, be content where you're at. That's what this tells me. This person can't be content where they're at, whoever that is. They're not content with what they have. Kind of dwelling on other things. Why do we have the Page of Cups? Hermit in reverse. The lovers. Okay. Mutually, 
you know, you guys do love each other. I think somebody here wants to say sorry. They want to reveal how they really, really feel. Um, somebody has deep feelings. They've made a decision that they don't want to hide that anymore. Um, maybe, you know, somebody here is deciding to make up their mind and to stop playing games, right? And, and choose to be with you. But it's like, at what point, you know, every, it seems like, People always stop that shit when it's too late. When somebody's decided, I'm going to get the hell away from this because this isn't what I want, right? They wait until the 11th hour to be like, by the way, I would do anything. I would change for you. I would blah, blah, blah. And, you know, it's true. People need to change for themselves. They can't change for you. They need to change for themselves. Otherwise, that change isn't really true change, okay? But this is an expression of love, an apology, a little love gift, right? Somebody wants to come forward and offer uh, a loving, compassionate message. You both, you both really love each other, okay? You both really love each other. Somebody's just having a problem with commitment here. Why do we have the Two of Cups in the Hierophant is what you don't see coming. Yeah, somebody wants to come forward now. They want to put in the work. What did I say? Your person here, they want a second chance. They want a second chance because they want to put the work in for some of you. Okay? They're serious now. They want a commitment. It's not worth it for this person to lose you. Okay? They are feeling very confused. They might have done something. They might have said something. Yeah, Ace of Cups, guys. Wow. I mean... There is love all over the board here. What you don't see coming is this person wanting to, you know, reconcile. They want to give you the, the big cup. You know what I'm saying? They want to be in a real, beautiful, committed, loving relationship with you. But this person's got some things they got to do, right? They do. Some of you, a new love is coming through, period. I'm just going to say that. This Ace of Cups is a brand new love that's coming forward. And this person is really your soulmate energy. This person could have been a prep for that. Okay. This was maybe about learning unconditional love. It could have uh, been learning very much about what you do or you don't want. Right. Like this person showed you, yes, you have all this love, but they're non-committal. They have issues with holding down the fort. They got money issues. They got, you know, anxieties and all sorts of things going on. Like, can you spend the rest of your life with somebody that makes you feel like you can't trust them? Right. They can't be, you know, trustable in a committed relationship. So I think this is teaching you a lot about what's to come, right? Lessons within yourself, lessons within relationships. Okay, Leo. So for some of you, I'm seeing a brand new love and this person is smart. They are intelligent. They are patient. Uh, they are kind. They are the kind of person who's committed and dedicated. Okay. Committed and dedicated. Whoever this is, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, this person wants to put forth the effort. They want to put forth the effort, the effort because they see you are worth it. This person is going to outpour their feelings and their love to you. They're not going to hide it. They're not going to hold back from it. Okay. There's a lot of love here. I feel like a person's going to apologize and whatnot, but I think your mind is made up, Leo, with the lover's card and the, and the queen of swords. Like you, you cut this off. Like you make me feel like option over here. Like, I, you know, I'm just the cup hanging out. Are you busy over here, right? So you're not an option, Leo. There's no way. But the next person is not going to treat you like an option. Trust me. The, the one coming is not going to treat you like an option, baby. All righty. All right. Talk to me about this connection here, please. Show me what Leo needs to know and see. I just saw the axe, and that means the relationship is over. All right. Show me what Leo needs to see. Tell me what Leo needs to see. Heart with a key. That flipped over. The chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship. Fear of abandonment issues. This person could be coming back. Okay. Okay. They might not like the fact that you made a decision that you don't want to be with them, Leo. 
We have the heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one. What did I say? Open your heart, getting together, perfect. There is somebody who has the key to your heart, Leo, and they are coming, like 100%. They are coming for you, okay? I'm telling you, there's a brand new love available to you here, but you know, you gotta let this go or, you know, get over whatever this is, okay, Leo? Because I feel like this person is gonna come back wanting a, a second chance and I think you're gonna reject it, okay? I think you're gonna reject it because you're choosing a new love. And whoever's coming, they bout it, bout it. <laughs> All right. The dog, your loyalty and faithfulness is misplaced by serving too many masters. Be loyal to those who are loyal to you, Leo, okay? Be loyal to people who are loyal to you. Don't put your faith and your love in every cup that comes around that looks a little empty because you know how we could be. You know. We'll sit here and fill everybody else's cup and just leave ours just sitting there empty and shit, right? We're not supposed to do that anymore, Leo, okay? Too many masters, have one, choose one person to give your love and your loyalty to, and let that be the person who's committed to making it work, who wants you without question. Okay, Leo. All right, what else do we have? One more, one more for Leo. Grounding the potato, I love this. Okay, that's funny because it comes out uh, with the sun card on it, okay? Um, Leo, get yourself grounded, okay? Because there may have been some sort of choppy, argumentative energy between you and this person, maybe from your past here, or that you might be sort of just gotten out of a relationship with, because it is a five, okay? It's about keeping your energy to yourself, grounding your feet, go outside, touch the earth, right? Get grounded again, because this person could have very well thrown you off, all right? Um, and you're going to want to need to be together and grounded and have your head on straight when you meet this other person that's coming, because there is a a really good person coming for you leo and they're going to give you everything you want without question okay i love you guys thank you so much for being here and i will see you soon if any of this resonated please smash the love button down below bye